In grade 9, you learnt about similar and congruent triangles, and we're just going to revise those concepts. In number 1, you are asked to calculate the values of x and y. I'd like for you to pause the video and to try both questions 1 and 2, and then to check your answers from the video. Okay, in triangle NPO and triangle, now we want to name them in the same order, so NPO is from the uh, double angle to the single to nothing, so we need to name the second triangle in the same order, so it will be TRS. Now, the only way that I'm going to be able to find the length of X and Y is if I can know what the relationship between these two triangles is. So if the two triangles are similar to each other, if I can show that, then I know that the proportion between the sides is equal, and I can use that to solve for the missing um, sides. So our first job is to see if we can show that these triangles are similar to each other, and Similar triangles are triangles who have all three pairs of angles equal. So we've already been given that angle N is equal to angle T. We've also been given that angle P is equal to angle R. And because the three angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees, the size of angle O, if I was to calculate it, and the size of angle S, I would get exactly the same answer because it would be 180 degrees minus N minus P, and N and T are the same, and P and R are the same. So it follows that angle O is equal to angle S because they are the third angle in a triangle. Therefore, triangle NPO is similar. The symbol for similarity is three vertical lines similar to triangle TRS because they are equiangular triangles. Because we have concluded that they are similar, we now know that the proportion of the side, so the ratio of NP to TR will be equal to the ratio of NR, uh, NO to TS, will be equal to the ratio of PO to RS, and the reason for that is because they are similar triangles, and one of the properties of similar triangles is the sides are in proportion. If we now substitute in the values for the lengths of the sides that were given, we can see that we have a ratio of 14 over 21 that gives us the, the ratio in the triangle of, of, the, of the one length of the one side to the other. So if we just split that out, 12 over x, is equal to 14 over 21. If we multiply both sides by 21x in order to get rid of the denominator, 21 divided by 21 is 1, x divided by x is 1, so we're left with 12 times 21 is equal to 14x. Divide both sides by 14 and we get x to be 18. If we set up a similar equation with the known ratio and y over 6, times both sides by 21 times 6, 21 divided by 21 is 1, 6 divided by 6 is 1, so we're left with 14 times 6 is equal to 21y. Divide both sides by 21 and you get y to be 4. Question 2. State whether the following pairs of triangles are congruent or not. Give reasons for your answers. And if there is not enough information to make a decision, explain why. Okay, so if we start with number A, to prove congruency, we need three pairs of equal parts between the two triangles. And in A, we are given that BC is equal to CD, and we are given that AC is equal to CE. Because BD and AE are straight lines, we also know that the angles formed on either side of that intersection are also equal. So we have three pairs of equal parts, two pairs of sides and the included angle, and that's very important, the angle given lies in between the two given sides. So we can conclude that triangle BCA is congruent to triangle DCE because of side angle side. In question B, we have actually been given three pairs of equal parts. We've got BA given equal to BD, we've got angle A equal to angle D, and we've got BC, which happens to be a common side. So we've got two sides and one angle. So we could potentially have side angle side, but if we take a look, 
This angle that is given does not lie in between the sides that have been given equal. The included angle here would actually be that one and that one. So in this case, currently there is not actually enough information to make a decision because we don't know the size of the included angle. If this included angle was equal, then we would be able to say that um, the, the triangles are congruent. Or if we were given that this angle here is a 90 degree angle, then we would also be able to say that the triangles are congruent. But at the moment, there is not enough information. information. And the reason there's not enough information is because the given angle is not included by the given sides.